Well, we have this in about LaShawn McCoy. Perhaps uh, he was inspired by uh, Beyonce's new Black Lives Matter uh, friendly song, uh, which she debuted, debuted and all the tools basically applauded and cheered her for yesterday. Like they didn't, well, they probably didn't know what was going on. But maybe he was inspired by that or maybe just had too much to drink and uh, was hanging around Philly, even though you're not an eagle anymore, LaShawn. Uh, even if even if Chip Kelly got fired, uh well, anyhow, here's what happened. NFL superstar LaShawn McCoy reportedly assaulted two off-duty police officers in Philadelphia on Sunday, and the cops were badly injured. This according to multiple news outlets. McCoy was at the recess lounge around 2.30 a.m. on Sunday when he got into, an, into the altercation. So says WPVI. Uh, I assume they mean Saturday night, Sunday morning, uh, not after the Super Bowl. But Fox 29 in Philly... What are they saying? That the officers involved suffered serious, several serious injuries, including a fractured skull, broken ribs, and a broken nose. According to the police report, the fight was all over Champagne with the football player upset that the cops received their bubbly first. McCoy has not been, been arrested, but he and another man, man are at the center of a police investigation. Uh, McCoy played for the Philadelphia Eagles in the past. He's currently a member of the Buffalo Bills. We know that. We reached out to McCoy's agent, uh, Drew Rosenhaus, uh, but he declined to comment. Let's see if there are any comments uh, here already. This just broke. Um, okay, here's what someone says from the police report. Uh, 37 minutes ago, the report states that officers Darnell Jesse, Roland Butler, and Sergeant Daniel Ayers uh, purchased four bottles of champagne that evening. When Butler, quote, moved to another location with his bottle, Former Pitt football player Tamarcus Porter, who we assume is a friend of McCoy's, quote, approached him and tried to pull the bottle from his hand. According to the report, quote, an argument ensued as to the ownership of the bottle, quote, at which point McCoy, Brinkley, and Christopher Henderson, quote, assisted Porter, uh, end quote. During the ensuing alter altercation, according to the report, Butler was knocked to the ground and, quote, punched kink kicked and stomped about his body and head uh, multiple times. And by the way, these were off duty uh, common, uh, cops, so, you know, it really probably was not Black Lives Matter. I'm just tying in Beyonce's new anti-white song. Uh, don't, someone else write, don't believe that McCoy is at fault until the facts come out. I grew up in a bad area and most of my friends became criminals or cops. You, they both think that they can beat the system. Uh, here's something else. Someone writes, the Philly news station that broke the story and other sites have more details. It, quote, appears that a former pit receiver that was there with them started it, and McCoy jumped in and piled on hitting and kicking a guy on the ground. If that is indeed true, it isn't cool. It should be a tough one to sort out. Nobody will want to be a witness. You know what? LaShawn McCoy is a bad guy. He makes fake racism charges. He was a complete ass uh, uh, after the game when the Eagles beat the Bills. Um... Yeah, so, like, you know, I don't feel sorry for him. And he was also bad to the staff at restaurants when he was here. And, uh, well, we'll see what happens. Uh, but let's, uh, we will see. But it couldn't have happened to a worse guy. That's my opinion.